All right, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, I brought a product in from Obsessed Garage. It's the Obsessed Garage Tire Dressing. And you know what, it showed up, I pulled it out of the package and I thought, man, what a sleek professional bottle. Nice label, very simple, man. I looked at it and went, tire dressing. Man, how simple and neat is that? You know, you're not picking it up and wondering like, what are the uses for this? Is it good for plastic? Is it good for rubber? You're not thinking that. You're thinking, hey Jeremy, grab the tire dressing. Yeah, you betcha, right there, tire dressing. Got it, man. You don't need like a four year degree to figure out what this is. <laughs> All right, so enough of the label, man, I like it. Then it comes up to this nice spray head, man. And you're probably already thinking like a spray head on tire dressing, that's unusual. Usually it's a squirt bottle or you pour it in, but it's nice and thin, man. It applies super easy, just a few little shots. Boom, and you can do a whole tire. Now, my findings are is really clean the tire well, man. Everybody says that. Clean the tire super good, man. Get everything off of it. Then come back behind one or two shots, work the product in. Do one nice layer if you want a matte finish. If you want to up the shine, do another layer, man. You can keep doing it until you get the shine level that you're happy with. I find a little bit of product goes a really long way. I've had this for quite a while and I've used it quite a bit. And man, I'm barely down the neck of this. Another thing I did when I first got it in, you know this is important to me, man. <laughs> Man, it's got a decent smell to it too, man. When you're using it out there, you got like a little area around you that's smelling nice. You don't feel like it's toxic. You don't feel like you're applying nasty chemicals on there. But you know, you should still wear gloves and all your protective stuff, but at least the experience is good. So you know I like a good smelling product and this delivered for sure. I'll leave links to all this stuff down in the description so you can check it out, man. And you know I always appreciate that. We could talk all day about this, man. I say it's tire dressing. Let's get out there and dress those tires. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'll put a little bit on there. It's nice and thin. I noticed that right off the bat. Spreads really easy, which I like. I don't like those real thick ones that are like smearing around butter, you know, paste. I want it to spread nice and easy. And go on. And it's got a great smell to it actually. The whole area smells pretty good right now. All right, so it's been a few minutes. I go in with a couple more little squirts. A little bit goes a long way with this stuff I noticed too, which is nice. And I noticed the second coat's filling in all those like spots that kind of seem like wasn't getting good application on the first run, so. All right, so here's what it looks like after two coats. Went on super thin, super easy. It's got a nice shine to it. Now, if you don't want the shine, one coat left a nice matte finish. The second coat just brought out that shine and filled in any blotchiness on these old dirty tires. And it was easy to get down inside the lettering. Just overall an easy product to work with. I like it. So fast forward one week later, Lots of driving on the truck and dirty conditions. And yes, the tires have some dirt on them. There's no doubt about it, but I'm looking forward to power washing them off and seeing what's underneath. All right, a quick blast with that pressure washer. And man, I'll tell you what, it gets things done really quick and back to good condition. All right, so after a week and driving around for about 50 miles, it's obvious that there's plenty of product still on there due to all the water beating and the tire is still plenty black. I'm happy with it. That's pretty good durability so far at the one week mark. All right, so the OG tire dressing, man. What do I think about it? Man, nice sleek bottle, sprayer work decent. Man, no problems there whatsoever. Little product went a real long way and that smell was nice, man. You know how much I like the smell when it's good. I don't like, you know, really rugged products just hammering into my nose, upsetting me when I'm try out here trying, I'm doing this to have a good time, man. I'm not out here trying to suffer with gas masks on. I want a pleasant experience. And you know what, right out of the bottle, this did it. 
Now it went on nice and even and no blotchiness. I'm, I did a couple coats because I take this truck dirt biking and it gets muddy. I do a lot of four wheel driving and um, I don't care too much about this truck, but I wanted to put it on some tough tires and it went on nice and even. All in all, I gotta say it's a good product. Come in at a reasonable price and I've been using this quite a bit and look, I've hardly used any. So that's kind of cool too. I suggest trying some, man, why not? We all like a little variety in, the, in our products and this is a good one. So I'll put some links down in the description down below. If you wanna check it out, that would be awesome. Man, come on, subscribe to the channel. There's the button right there, man. I'll keep bringing you cool stuff like this. Uh, as long as the list keeps growing and people uh, are watching and liking it, I'll keep doing it, man. And with every product that I like, this is no exception. I'm gonna have to do it, man. Uh, yeah, that's some good stuff right there. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah. The OG, original gangster. More obsessed garage. <laughs> Again, I go about an inch over the edge of the wheel and that's just so you can't see it when it's sitting here. I, want, I don't want it to look like the tire dressing just ends right at the tread. But I also plan on ripping down the road at about 140 miles an hour later. So I don't want, it, I don't want this all over the place. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hit those labels extra hard. Anywhere you might have got it on there, just get it off. It can stay, but why not? And we got other stuff on there. And that's it, man. That looks awesome.